I was afraid you'd left without saying goodbye. No. I nearly took this with me. If you're not in a hurry, Brother Martin's heading into town in a few hours. He can give you a ride. That is, if you don't mind doing some heavy lifting. <laughs> All ten cases are ready to go. Desmond there is just getting the last one. Thank you. And my father sent the check in advance. And please thank him for his generous donation. Always a pleasure to see you. Goodbye, Desmond. I think we should be able to fit it all in the back, and if not, we'll put the rest in the front. Is that all right? Absolutely. You better drive safe, miss. This vineyard only makes a limited number of these cases each year. Is that so? Aye. It's because the monks are lazy. <laughs> yeah, it's easier making grape jelly than wine. <laughs> and how do you know so much about monks? Because I'm an ex-monk. Really? As of last night, I was fired. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that funny. I'm sorry. I never, I, I didn't know monks could be fired. Oh, they can. You know, I was told on a non-certain terms that the Abbey wasn't where I was meant to end up. Just a step along a path. You know, God allegedly has bigger plans for me. Something tells me you don't entirely believe that. I suspect that's because I don't. Well, maybe they're right. I mean, just think, if you hadn't got fired, we wouldn't have met, and then... How could you possibly help me unload these crates in Carlisle? <laughs> Did I say I was coming to Carlisle with you? Not yet. I mean, of course, if an ex-monk already has plans, then... You know, I don't usually get in the cars with strangers. Well, in that case, I'm Penelope. Penny. Desmond. Very nice to meet you, Penny. Hmm. <laughs> 